All right, recently two amazing women were crowned to represent the District of Columbia in 2020. Sydney Jackson, Miss Teen DC USA, and Miss DC USA Sierra Jackson. These women aspire to use their platform to encourage all women that you can achieve anything that you put your mind to. They are here with us now, going to be joining us in studio. Can we welcome our Miss DC USA and also our Miss DC Teen USA? Come on down. Making the entrance. <laughs> Thank you so much for and having us. Thank you. So Thank wonderful you. to good have you. Good to see you again. You. Nice you. to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> have a seat, ladies. Yes. You guys look beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. How's you. it been? You were just crowned Martin Luther King Jr. Yes, yes. Again, right? yes. Okay. Yes, yes, okay. yes. It's been maybe um, a, month a month. In a, a, month. In a week. About a month. Okay. <laughs> I want to move your sash just a tad for the microphone. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's good. There. Perfect. Perfect. Well, how's it been so far? It's been amazing. Yeah. We've had a good amount of appearances already. Um, we've been building up our platforms, yeah. and it's been really awesome. Yeah, I've seen you got you were doing a lot for Valentine's Day. You've been visiting yes. high schools, yes. doing was it Best Buddies? Yes, best they had a buddies. Valentine's Day dance. It was so fun. Yeah. They're so cute, and we're yes. super excited for their prom too. They have no yes. shame. Yes. They yes. love to dance. They, they were break dancing. Break dancing. <laughs> <laughs> it yes. was so fun. I need to pulled like, you all right into yes. it. Yes, sure. I need to yeah. step up my dance moves. I know. I didn't feel like I was in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> what do you ladies feel like? You know, you're talking to two former pageant right. queens I here. So it. we yes. did pageants for our own reasons. What mm -hmm. was it about the pageant system, especially in a day and age where sometimes people are saying, are these still relevant? Mm -hmm. We think they are. You obviously think they are, but what was it about getting involved in these pageants? Yeah, for me, I mean, most importantly, it allows me to use all of my talents and show them on one stage. So I'm very athletic. I get to show that in swimsuit. Um, I love interview and I love speaking to different people. So I get to meet new, a new set of judges every single time. Um, I also get the opportunity to go out to the community and work um, with people who I love, you know, and being able to grow and be passionate about issues that are important to me. Um, being able to connect with my personal platform which is to encourage young women and girls to run for a political office. Of course, that's relevant. You know, mm -hmm. still we have not had our first female president. And being able to be an advocate for having our first female president is super important to me, not just for myself, but for the future. You worked in the White House, too, yes. during the Obama administration. Yes, I was the part. only intern in my class to serve the chief of staff's office as their communications intern in the Obama right. administration. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, Cindy, I was you just graduated from high school. I did. And so yeah. you're kind of taking this year. Did to gap year. But like, you were very active last year yeah. you were co-president yeah, of the was. entire student body yeah. and you also staged like walkouts and think you were very yeah. very active so my school is very progressive very liberal arts and they allowed us to you know take time off of classes and go to the walkouts and protest and demonstrate and do things that were socially active and I mean we're in DC so of course that's what right. that's we're, we're supposed aware. to do um, and so doing pageantry also allowed me to have a platform to continue my social activism on a much larger scale something that I was already avid about doing and now I get to do it and really bring that to so many other girls in the district who may not have the space or time to really get into it so yeah what's it like to see those young faces when you guys walk in and you've got the crown and the yeah. sash and they know that I mean you are representing our nation's capital yeah. what is that reaction like it's amazing because especially the little ones because they don't <laughs> they're not really thinking about like us representing DC but right. they're like oh princess you're, right. <laughs> and you're, like, yeah. you're like hi <laughs> right. and they just, you're like you're a superstar and then also girls who are my age were mm -hmm. like, how did you get here? What did you do? Like, what are you doing now? It's just like really nice to have a platform and to talk to them about things that are important to you. And then it kind of becomes important to them too. Right, for sure. Yeah. You're also preparing for the bigger stage of Miss Ooh. USA, Miss USA Teen. Yes. What is that like in addition to everything else that's on your plate? <laughs> yeah. it's, it's super um, exciting, but it also, you know, we're building our teams, you know, mm -hmm. stylists, hair, um, stylists, makeup, makeup artists, everything. Yeah. Fitness. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and everything that you're doing, everybody that you're talking to, you talked about the different judges and there's all the different personalities, just preparing you, not just for that, but for life. Right. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, it's so incredible what you can learn mm -hmm. being a title holder. For sure. I mean, I always say that the role that I have as Miss District of Columbia USA as a title holder is very similar to that of a politician. We get to meet and be a, a public servant to our constituency or to the District of Columbia. So I'm able to represent issues that are important to me just like a politician would. And I'm also able to implement um, practices and different platforms um, that can help my community just like a politician would right. as well. That's yeah. the same that it translates to broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes. 
to definitely yep. thank you both for being here and congratulations. Thank we'll you. We'll be so watching it in May, May, right? Yes. In May. Yeah. Sometime in May. Sometime in May. Sometime okay. this summer. We, we don't, don't know, know yet. <laughs> keep an eye out and keep an eye on these ladies because they are going to be something and yes. you already are. So we, <laughs> we love so having much. you. So we'll be back with more great day right after this. Bye. Bye.